You want to make bass lines like this. But you really don't know where to start. Then you're in the right place because I have built this flowchart to get the exact sounds that you want with your bass lines. So let me show you how it works. To show you how the flowchart really works, I picked the song released last Friday and today is Sunday, so that you know that nobody recreated this one and we are recreating on the fly Cassian's remix of Anima. That rolling bass line on the background. After that, we create this space, which is much more complex. Super good sound. All right, let's go. Let's take a look at the chart. Is it a layered sound? No, and yes, it is a layered sound, but it's layered of two oscillators, so we don't need extra layer. So, second harmonic position. The more you get used to sound design, you will immediately hear if it is a sine wave or square wave. But if you can, there is actually an easy way to figure out which type of waveform it is. Let's take this track and just solo the below 100. And let's take the kick off so that we only hear the bass. Look at how obvious it is. The first harmonic, 42. E, the second harmonic, around here 84, another E. So the two times more for the first harmonic. If that means 2x, pick soul wave variation. So basically it says pick a soul wave. If this was actually instead 134, that would have been the square wave. And for the sine wave, very similar, but then this volume will be really low. Simple method to really figure out the waveform in a sound, especially in the bass, straight ahead. So, so tooth. I'm using Serum because this is a relatively simple sound, and when it's simple sound, I use Serum. So tooth variations. I'm just gonna flex my Mercury Tones wave tables here and pick Cat So, slightly softer. Let's add just a rolling bass line here. It is in E minor this track. So we are just rolling E's. But this is like one octave up, so we need is a sub bass under, so I'm just sit on the fundamental. Unison for multiple oscillators. Cassian's track is not that super wide, so we're gonna go for the global and bring this down a little bit. I had a video about making the bass without unison and having still a stereo field. I will put the video over here so you can take a look. But in this case, because this high oscillator is one octave up already, we don't need to use that method. And single unison is enough. Right? All right, we are done with this one now. So what is the shape? So let's listen. Quite the plucky, but it's not like super pop, 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 short and plucky. So we go to first envelope and it says here, if it is so, create a fat envelope. Fat envelope means that you create a waveform like this. So it's still a bit plucky, but not that hard. And then what is the gradient? If the sound is like stable always, or is sound changing slightly so that we have to move the filters to match the, the variation in the sound? Listen again. I will say the filter is relatively stable, but there's a slight movement. It's like opening up every slightly. And then like at the end of the note, you open up a little bit more, like Let's do that. I'm gonna put a 24 dB, everything goes straight into the filter. Create a similar envelope, but you see, we're just gonna keep it really small and tiny. Right? That opening that I mentioned earlier, we can just do it manually. So we take the cutoff and draw this line manually. You hear it? This is good. We don't have any more of the movements, so we're gonna keep this one. And the resonance, how it is. The resonance is that screechy sound. The more resonant they get, the more screechy it will get. There is not much of it. Like you can hear even barely. Right? Very screechy. I think the original track is really every slightly here somewhere. And saturation, is it warm? Then you can go for tube, analog, soft clip. If the sound is super fuzzy, then you can go for the diode, triad, hard clips, or no saturation. In our case, I think we have a warm saturation in the sound. First, we can actually give a bit of filter dry, saturate a little bit already in the filter. Like that. I can give even fat. And then we go to distortion, and tube is pretty good in this case. Something like that. 
And the final thing, is it like a clean sound or if there's a fix? In this case, we don't have any effects in the original sound. It's really on your face most of the time. That means that we ended the first round. So the second round means that, okay, go back, listen back and forward and see the things that doesn't match that much. For example, listen, go back. The first thing immediately hits me like this at a side chain so that we can hear that movement on the volumes as well. I'm just gonna use a shaper box. You can use anything, right? Like that. Now I'm gonna go back and play with those layers a bit. I think this could be a bit more like this. This could be probably... Activate the EQ. Isolate the low end so that we can compare to our low end. I think it's more distorted as well, to be honest. It's really close, very really close now. Like and subscribe if you feel like you will use this in your future productions. All right, that was easy. Let's do the more complicated sound. Sounds like this. Very cool sound. Notice goes like this. I already read it down. I do most of my melodies just by ear. It sounds like this. Cool, isn't it? Now, what did it say? Is it soft, square, or anything else? Well, I'm not gonna do the same thing show again. This is a soft to it already. I'm gonna use pigments for this one because it's a bit more complicated sounds and I feel like pigments tend to sound more analog. Innocent for multiple oscillators, this one is 100% innocent. Listen how it sounds, how it's open and a lot of oscillators at the same time. We're gonna do the same thing. Go. Oh, I'm gonna use for the super. The super is likely also unison, but another algorithm to how the oscillators are panned. First, though, change the analog, right? And go for the unison. Something like that. If you listen one more time. I think this sound is layered with another oscillator. I'm gonna just go for the waveform for this one because this doesn't matter that much. And it's just in the middle to enhance the image. Right? Makes things a bit more stable, a bit less unison. And I think we can even use one final oscillator one octave down. Solve today. Yeah? But I'm gonna keep it now in the background. I don't think Cassian has it, but I think it would have been even better that way. Oscillator is down. What shape it is? Let's take a listen. It is shorter plug here, but I think it's a little bit fat. We still have a bit sustain in it. So probably something. Do you hear how immediately sound came together? The importance of picking a right oscillator and right envelopes to get a sound right. So these first two steps are really 60% of the sound and then you have to really improve it afterwards. What is the gradient? Now this will be a bit harder because it's very open, but here how the filter behaves. The filter is very open, but there's a slight envelope on it. The initial hits are plugs are a bit more harder because of that. So we're gonna create something like this. These are not that important at the beginning, remember, we always fine-tune. And we're gonna put in cutoff, but give it a bit so. Okay. Now the filter, I'm gonna go for matrix. It's a bit warm in my ears. Very, very cool. Now the resonance, do you hear any resonance in it? Let's listen. Again, I hear really every slightly like it. Something like that, right? This saturation, it is actually, even though the sound is very rich, it's relatively not saturated sound or this clean saturated sound. Can you simple saturate it, to be honest? This is enough. And it says, what about the ambience? How is the ambient sound? We definitely have delay, we definitely have reverb. Let's add first a delay. The delay is very short, but it's a bit sustained. So let's do something like that. The only thing is when the original sound hits in the original, we don't hear the delay. That means that it is ducked. Right, 
So we can do very simple thing in pigments as well. We just take another like envelopes and put it into dry mat. But many time we heat, it will duck to the delay. That is very simple, isn't it? And then we need the ambience. I'm gonna go for reverb here. The same thing I'm gonna do here as well actually. Put that thing. Okay, let's listen one by one. Very close. Now that means that we go back and do those small tweaks so that we can match exactly. And those small tweaks for me was mostly the envelopes and actually cutoff is closed a bit more but opens faster and bigger. We are really pushing onto the levels and really cutting everything down. And I add oscillate. This just makes everything much better, I think, in my opinion. And a little bit EQ on top so that it sounds a bit more private. Right? Listen how close it is. It's like, I don't know, almost identical. Listen. Magical. There's no magic in it. It's just the understanding different steps. And the more you go run through this, different steps, the closer and closer will you get to the sound. If you want big sounds like this, I have tons of them on Mercurial Toms. And currently we are on the spring sale, so you can get up to 30% discount with my packs and courses. Take a look.